is why I should own a 4.2 manual Jaguar. Ultra stabilized, she says. So, pick up the speed. Or you can mediate with your clutch. You push your clutch in a little bit. So, make your left turn. A little bit of gas. A little bit of gas, or it's going to stall. Gas, gas, gas. Yep, that's it. Drive straight here. Now turn left. We're just going to do a circuit. And we'll see if we can get it out of first gear, alright? See how the engine really likes that rev there? So you want, it, you want to keep the revs up. Otherwise it will start kangaroo hopping. So at about this speed, what we can do is we can change into second, all right? So on the next on the next go around, what I want you to do is when I say go, push the clutch in, and I'm going to put it into second, all right? It's faster or what? Uh, it's a little bit faster, yeah, but not by much. So go around. And we're going to go in a second down here. I'll manage the gears. When I tell you, I want you to put your foot on the clutch, not the brake. Okay, slow down a little bit. Okay, clutch, all the way in. You're in second. Now let, let the clutch out. Okay, you kangaroo hopping, pick up the speed, go left. Give it a bit of gas, give it a bit of gas. Falling below idle there, yep. So now we're gonna shift back to first. So clutch in. Clutch in, clutch in, into first. Yep, let your clutch out. A little, <laughs> yeah, a little bit uh, slower, a little bit slower on the clutch. No, not yet. Turn left. All right, pick up your revs, pick up your revs. Okay, now when you let the clutch out on this go, we're going to go into second. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Turn in, turn straight, yep. Clutch in. Now let it go out slowly. Yes, that like that. Yeah, now go left. Go left, 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 left. Yep. Keep going, keep going. Now we're going to go back into first, so clutch in. And now out slowly, a little bit slower than that. You see that clunk? Yeah, yeah so you, you need to mate, mate up the gears um, nice and smoothly. All right, do you want to try a double clutch? The way that I drive it. So it's a little bit smoother. So what we do is we clutch out, so we press the clutch, and then we, no, 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 not yet. We'll just talk about it as we turn around. We'll, we'll do another loop in first. So we clutch into neutral, and then we clutch, so you'd be clutch into neutral, pull your clutch out, bring your reps up, speed up, speed up, speed up. We clutch into neutral, and then we clutch again into the next gear. So it's a much smoother gear change than what we've just had here. So what we can do is we can try it on the next next go around. So what we'll do is we'll go clutch. Now? Uh, no, not yet. Keep going. Okay, so go clutch. Okay, now we're on neutral. Now go clutch again into second. Now let it go out slowly. If you had been a little bit slower on your gear changes, turn left. That would have been perfect. Now you don't have to double clutch this car. 
but it does make the gear changes so much smoother. Pick up your revs, pick up your revs, pick up your revs, or you'll sort it out. Yep, that's it. It's not like an auto. You can't just stop with the engine on. You need to have your clutch in or be in a different gear. So clutch in. Oh, all right, turn, turn, turn left. All right, so you, there we go. You learned, close, you learned a lesson there. So you, if you want to keep the engine on, you need to push your clutch in because the engine's directly connected to the wheels on this one. So we had to either be uh, clutch in or in neutral. You can't just stop your car like that. One, two, three, four.